I'm surprised it took this long for someone to get out of the 27 right. race to jump into 25. Right. And here is a picture, Mary Bardsey Flores, obviously on the right, former federal public mm -hmm. defender for 12 years, a Miami-Dade Circuit judge for nine years, now in private practice. She says to me, Mark, that Emily's List and other big national outfits are going to bring some money for Well, her. she's going to need the money. She has 400000 in the bank. Mario diaz Bullard has $1.2 million in the bank, so he's basically three times at her level. Right. The other thing is, is let's not overlook the importance of ethno-politics in this. Right. Mario diaz Bullard is the son of an exile leader, the brother of right. former congressman, the brother of, uh, of a Very uh, well known, well established, host. and right. an effective, I've got to say, when it comes to money for roads, bridges, highways, mass transit, and affordable housing, Mario diaz Ballard has brought the bacon home to, to South Florida. And the people of Hialeah know that. And Hialeah is in this district, one of the most Republican right. cities yeah. in yeah. the United States, certainly in Florida, and one of the most Hispanic as well. So it's going to be a tough race for her to topple him. He is a tough right. opponent. That, in that, 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 is, that is so right. interesting because that very city and that very district is home to the largest number of Obamacare signer-uppers in the state, Mary Lee. And uh, Mary Barzi Flores, when she spoke to Michael, had made a very big deal about that and about affordable health care. Mm -hmm. uh, I have one issue with her. I've never met her personally, but she, she wasn't going to be a federal judge. She was considered to be a federal judge. And for me, either you're a judge or you're a politician. And it brings to mind those uh, judges that are activist judges on the bench. Uh, so good luck to her in, yeah. in this race. Well, we should point out factually that Senator Marco Rubio yeah. held up her yeah. nomination. Absol he absolutely. never really explained why I asked her I think her he was why. right to do it just by seeing the campaigns that she has run since she was not selected to be a federal judge because she, this is not her first political uh, campaign uh, for this district, 2025. 20, is that an issue for someone to sort of evolve into their next... Oh, right, um, she is no longer entity. Right, right? she's yeah. no longer a judge. I do think that, given the district she wants to represent, she is going to have to pretty much abandon the get off the impeachment bandwagon. Yeah. That that really was. She wrote an op-ed. Those were her first words, right. and that was her. That was what was propelling her. But I don't think that's she's going not going to win. That, that's not an issue that that's she a can ride well, One of the things that she did do is on Friday when the Trump administration said it was going to end temporary protective status for 57,000 Hondurans, mm -hmm. Mario diaz Blart put out a statement saying mm -hmm. he opposed what the Trump administration right. was doing, I think without yeah. saying the word Trump. Mm -hmm. And Barzi Flores' campaign came right back and showed they're yeah. going to be very aggressive and tie him to unpopular policies right. in the district of Trump.